Twins drew some pictures for you. Pretty good, right? Can you hear me when I call? It's Monday morning, and that means that this EP will be done by the end of the week. So help me. And God is my witness. I did something this weekend that I don't normally do. I planned out my entire week. Normally I'll plan out a day or two or have some things scheduled for the entire week, but I have planned out from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. Monday through Friday. I've got stuff slotted in everywhere, and I know that may sound like a lot, but that's just, it's what I need. Because when I don't have a plan, I'm much more likely to blow things off. Or if I have a plan today and not one tomorrow, I may put off some things from today until tomorrow. You've seen it. If you've been watching Gilder Cam, you've seen that in action. I am great at putting things off. Just in case you're keeping score, this is how the EP is shaping up. My deadline for the EP to be done was Thursday, which gave me, my goal was to have it done a week before the end of the month. That has now moved to Friday because I need an extra day today to completely finish recording and then two days to mix, one day to master and a little buffer in between to make final tweaks on the last day before I upload it to the interwebs. Where are you now? How long must I wait? But before I can get to recording, there's some business I need to attend to. This is one of those times where something I talk about in Gilder Cam will only be relevant for people watching it right now. However, there's, it still applies if you're watching this three years from now. Anyway, I'm launching my new course. It's called Intro to Recording. I've never done an intro to recording course. I've always just jumped in with mixing tips, uh, recording specific instruments, but never kind of an overview of the basics of what you need to have and do and all that to do recording. And so that's what I'm doing. If you are new to recording or if you've been in recording for a while and you're just wanting to kind of fill in the gaps of things that maybe you're not quite sure about, this course is designed for you. And if you sign up this week, you can get it for 10 bucks off. The course starts on Monday, May 29th, which will, um, and I'll release new videos every week. And the reason I'm doing it that way versus create the videos and plop them in front of you is I want your feedback. I want you to watch the first round of videos and say, okay, great, but I have a question about this and that. And then what about this over here that you didn't mention? And then I can take those questions and incorporate them into the next round of videos, making it far more valuable than if I just plopped down a bunch of videos in front of you. So there'll be a link below. Check it out. Um, would love for you to be a part of it if it makes sense for you. But now I've got to shoot a welcome video for that course. So here we go. Are you now? How long must I wait before Hi, my name's Joe Gilder. I run HomestudioCorner.com and I want to tell you today about a new course that I'm launching on Just as I was needing to leave to go work out, Pam found a snake in the yard. I had to, I had to take care of it. I don't think it was poisonous, but still, little snake trying to attack me. And then today's workout is supposed to be awful. I am so throwing up today. Lunch in the studio. That workout was rough. That might have been the worst one yet. And I came home, jumped right in the shower, made my lunch, came down here, which is one thing I've got to do this week. I can't take an hour to just feel sorry for myself. Although, even just coming down the stairs was really difficult. My legs are killing me. But I'm a little behind on today's schedule. Not bad. So I'm gonna eat lunch and get some of this video editing stuff done and then get back to recording. All right, you got a little under an hour and a half to finish things off. And what I've done, gone and listened through to all five songs. There's five songs in this EP. And I've made a list on my phone, just a little simple to-do list app, listed by song of things I need to do. It looks like a big list, 
I'm gonna jump into the song with the most things to do and get that out of the way so that it's not looming over me. Then I'll work my way back to the ones that just need little things here and there. Do all the vocals together, do guitars together. See, batch things together when you can and make weird hand motions while you do it. To add a nice little level of pressure to this final session, the last hour or so, I'm streaming the whole thing on YouTube live. So there's a, some people in the chat who can hear what I'm doing. My webcam's busted, but that's okay. They can just hear. Sorry, I know some of you say that when I spin around like that, it makes you dizzy. And I apologize. Ooh, it's dark back here. This box is dying. It is crushed. It's being, being crushed under the weight of that big piece. That is what you might call a redneck solution. Can't worry about that right now. I have got to record. So you stay put. I gotta get to work. Chick, 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 chick. Don't you know? Holy Moses, I'm a hot, sweaty mess. I went f f 10, 11 minutes over when I was supposed to be done for the day, but I actually blew through a bunch of stuff and all sorts of technical, not all sorts of, but some technical issues. I was in the back room, which I normally, as you know, control the studio computer with my laptop and it kept losing connection. So I just came in here and recorded the vocals here on this, my SM7, which I use for like the podcast and stuff. It's not the mic I used on all the other tracks, but it's gonna have to work because I had to go, I had to get it done. I didn't have time to bring another mic in and set it up and do all that, I had to get things done. And even with that quickness, I was still a few minutes late. By the way, I don't do the, the timing thing to just beat myself up, it's because it makes me perform. And then having people there live, I was singing some vocals and it was really energizing to know they were listening to me sing while I was singing. So that wraps up recording for this EP. I still have some tuning to do, a little bit of editing, a little bit of taking parts that I recorded and flying them around. So I recorded a vocal on this chorus, like a harmony, copy that and paste it in other choruses, things like that that I can do pretty quickly and probably just wrap it into the mixing process. It was a crazy day, but it was a good day. Nash. Hey buddy. It was a pretty intense day, but a good one. And I'm really happy with the way it went. The day did not go according to plan. There are still things on my list that I'll have to get done tonight, so it'll be probably a late night. But that's okay, because I got the important things done. I stayed on schedule for the most part. I got a little behind with working out and doing extra credit at the workout, which was awful. Getting home, making a quick lunch, and then getting the video stuff for the intro to recording thing took longer than I expected. It's just normal life, right? So I just updated, adjusted, moved on, made for a pretty good day, albeit sweaty. <laughs> All right, see ya.